So Nancy Pelosi is defending her tactic of holding on to the articles. Uh, it's a multifaceted thing. She is believing that by withholding the articles, she has pushed it so that way there will be witnesses at the Senate trial. I, for one, agree with that point. I want witnesses at the Senate trial, but also I don't want the House to hold on to these articles that they are so damn uh, urgent getting through as quickly as possible because he was so dangerous and then put the brakes on it simply because they didn't know what the outcome was going to be. And she's saying in the end it showed uh, corruption on the uh, Senate side, but... I, if anything, totally disagree with her on that. I think it made the Democrats and Pelosi and crew and Schiff look like petty kids who wanted one thing, and then when they got what they wanted, they didn't really want it because they were scared, and then they told us they were going to get one thing, and we didn't get that one thing. We didn't get very specific articles. We got very broad articles. And then at the end, Trump makes an excellent point. Why was it allowed that uh, Adam Schiff was allowed to read these quotes into congressional public record, and they were lies, with zero consequences. Nothing has happened to him. He came out and he said it was a parody, yeah? You're reading a parody into congressional record? No. You were reading what you thought you could get away with saying for a sound bite to get the American people to latch on to this idea that people could write headlines on because, you know, uh, today's day and age you only read the headlines and there's your news for you. Your headline can read anything, and your body of your news article can be completely different, and whatever your headline news is is what people are going to tweet and everything else. So he read this thing saying that Trump is going to say this, and you're going to hear Trump saying that, and you're going to hear Trump saying this. And then he came out saying, no, 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 it was a parody. Dude, you just lied on congressional record. What the... F you know, zero consequences. No, no, nothing. Not even a... Slap on the wrist, nothing. But let's read this, uh, and let's get it to the end where Trump actually makes that quote saying, why, why did Pelosi allow this? Fox News. Pelosi defends holding on to impeachment articles, accuses McConnell of supporting a cover-up. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh. Why are we doing this? Because my equipment is old and decrepit, that's why. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi confirmed Sunday that she and fellow Democrats will soon discuss sending articles of impeachment against President Trump. Oh, finally! Finally! To the Senate for a trial and defended her, her decision to wait weeks, weeks, to do so. Pelosi has faced critis criticism from Republicans for not allowing the impeachment process to move forward. And even some Democrats have expressed impatience. And yes, the Democrats have started saying, look, this is just getting a little bit ridiculous. They're feeling a little bit of pressure from their constituents. It's making them look bad. It's making them look like it was one-sided and it was just purely political, which it still seems like it's purely political. Uh, and I know that my stance is a little bit odd, wanting witnesses in a Senate trial, but also wanting the Senate trial to go forward and not wanting Pelosi to hold on to the articles. They're both a little bit petty, but if we don't have witnesses at the Senate trial, at least they have followed and maintained the rules. If the rules need to be changed or the laws need to be changed, then they change them from here forward. But we must always go by equal application of the law. Equal application of the law. That is the only way that we can have due process. And due process is important, not just in criminal cases. Far too often people say, well, it's not a criminal case, so due process doesn't apply. Okay, if you were accused of something, you would like due process, no matter if it was criminal, civil, or otherwise, wouldn't you? So then we must afford due process and equal application no matter what. Because once we start getting down this damn slippery road of let's change the rules for this person or for this particular trial, let's change the laws for this one instance, it's a slippery road. Because whoever is changing the rules will change the rules to their benefit. Human nature. I say it all the time. Human nature. Uh, Pelosi has faced criticism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Still, she insists it has been a very effective strategy. No, it has not. It's been an effective strategy to make you guys look petty. No, 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 she says. We feel that it is, has produced a very positive result. Pelosi told, uh, said on ABC's This Week, pointing to new information that has surfaced from former National Security Advisor John Bolton's announcement that he is now willing to testify in the Senate under subpoena. 
but the damage is done. You st it still makes the entire house process look... What? Rushed, rushed, rushed. You changed the rules during the house process. Even though you had established rules, you let everybody talk about their fifis. Yes, I understand. Their feelings are hurt. They're upset. Some of them were fired. Some of them were looked over. Some of them didn't feel like they had the clout or the recognition that they felt they deserved and they felt bad. I feel for you. I understand. I feel the same way too sometimes. But I didn't get any evidence. Nothing. That's why I want witnesses in the Senate trial. I know it's a little bit unprecedented, but I believe it would help us get down to the truth. And that's, after all, what it is supposed to be, getting down to the truth. During the delay, Senate Republicans introduced a resolution allowing for dismissal of the impeachment case if Pelosi failed to send the articles within 25 days. And they have every right. She should have sent the articles right away. I understand it was during Christmas. There was a Christmas break. She was using that to her, her advantage. That way there would be the Christmas break for the American populace to mull over this. He was impeached, and it gives a great soundbite, but right after the Christmas break was over, she should have sent them. That was the proper, lawful thing under current rules. But she held on to him, held on to him, held on to him. So the Republicans had all rights to say, send it within 25 days, or we're just going to dismiss the, 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 the case because we don't have the papers. We don't have the proper channels. You haven't followed the proper rules. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was among those who backed the measure, leading Pelosi to accuse him of being potentially complicit in wrongdoing. Everybody's right on their own side and the other side is the devil according to the other side. It's okay to hear dissenting opinions but we have got to come up with this middle ground, this truth in the middle that says, hey, you know, this is what the truth is, rather than what they say is obviously wrong and they're obviously corrupt and they're obviously this, obviously that. Well, okay, don't be so damn hyperbolic. Pedal it back a little bit, okay? Pelosi insisted that even without having witnesses at the Senate trial, which McConnell has posed, there is enough evidence to remove Trump from office. What evidence? What evidence? I see evidence that Schiff lied. I see evidence that Schiff lied. I see evidence that people were upset. I see evidence that someone said that someone said that someone said that someone said something. We have evidence that Trump says no, but obviously he's going to say no, so we'll put that to the side a little bit. We have evidence that Zelensky says no, they're wrong, so that counts for a little bit more. We have evidence that even though Zelensky says no, the Democrats are still treating him like some kid on the playground that gets beat up all the time and is scared to point out who the bully is, and he's saying, I'm not getting bullied, and they're saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're calling Zelensky a liar. I mean, this whole thing is just bizarre. And this is one of the points. This, 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 this quote by Pelosi is so telling. There is nothing in the Senate can do that can ever erase that, she said, later adding, he will be impeached forever. And there you go. The political weapon that just seems to me to be what it is. They wanted the word impeachment to be labeled on Donald Trump forever. That will make them feel better. That will make them go, eh, you, we got you, you big meanie. I mean, that's just, that's how I feel. I feel like they are out on a, a, an elementary school playground and there's just elementary school playground politics is in play here. Immediately before the interview, Trump asked host George Stephanopoulos in a tweet to ask Crazy Nancy why she allowed Adam Shifty Schiff to totally make up my conversation with the Ukrainian president and read his false words to Congress and the world as though I said it. Yes. Yes. And obviously they didn't ask Nancy Pelosi that because they're not going to ask the hard questions. Why? Access. If you ask a politician hard questions and stump them against the wall, sure you're doing the American public a service. Sure you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do and being the watchdogs for the American people against the government. Sure you're exposing some BS, but you would lose access to Pelosi and other individuals who would then say, well, I don't want to be asked the tough, the, the tough questions. I want to be asked softball questions. So they're not going to ask her that question. Now, a YouTuber would ask her that question, hands freaking down. Because we like to get to the truth, because truth is what makes our channels grow. 
If we spew nothing but falsehoods and idiocracy, our channel is going to fail. Mainstream media, they get paid no matter what. They get paid if they get the story right. They get paid if they get it wrong. They get paid if they absolutely blatantly lie. So what do they care? They just want to make their constituents, their investors, their board members happy. Push their agenda. But I guarantee you, you set Pelosi or any of these people down before a good new, uh, YouTube news channel, well, they'll tear them apart. They would, and let me tell you something, it would make for great viewing. When Pelosi did not talk about Schiff, she took a short, uh, shot at the president, accusing Trump of projection when he insults others. When he calls somebody crazy, he knows that he is, she said. I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Playground politics. Playground politics. But... That's my opinion, that's my view, that's my point of view. And I think YouTube news channels should have a shot and a crack at asking these people questions. I guarantee you we'd get some hardball good questions. And I guarantee you it's going to be one of those times where people are going to be watching and they're going to, oh! Because we have to have good content and good news. And we have to at least try to do our research and know what we're talking about or we fail. And that's all there is to it. Mainstream media doesn't care. They just don't care. Anyways, those are my rambling thoughts. Let me know what you think. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one.